call the January 6, 2014 USD 350 Board of Education meeting to order. Welcome visitors. Mrs. Dixon, Mrs. Trigger. Any additions or changes to the agenda? No. No changes. Entertain no. a motion to approve the agenda. I move uh, we approve the agenda as presented. Second. Move and second to approve the agenda as presented. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried 6 0. Moving on to the consent agenda. I don't really have anything to add except there's uh, paper uh, bills in front of you, checks presented for uh, this month. And uh, the budget uh, report, I'll have a little more information on the uh, budget situation here in my report. Yes, ma'am. Um, what is the money set aside for the parent education program? So, so we have 100% in there. Oh, we pay that to Stafford, and it's just whenever we coordinate and send that payment. Oh, so the money is being... It will be spent. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's just paid out in one check. I thought we weren't using it. Why were we budgeting? Yeah. No. No. It will be paid this fiscal year. All right. That's all I need to know. Thank you. Any other questions about the consent agenda? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Mr. President, I move we approve the consent of, consent that you have as presented. Second. Moving second to approve the consent agenda as presented. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried 6 0. <coughs> Any patron comments tonight? All right, move on to the business agenda. Architect report. Uh, in the Agenda there I mentioned, uh, we hope that uh, those folks will be here tonight. Uh, I talked to them a couple of times over uh, the Christmas uh, vacation there where everybody else was going. And, uh, he was kind of pressed for time and I told him I'd rather uh, get good information than try to rush it and get it done tonight. So he actually did send me some stuff today. Uh, I'd be glad to let you look at it, uh, but he and I need to meet before he presents anything to the board, uh, just so he and I are on the same page. But uh, uh, they've been working, and again, I've been on the phone with them quite a bit, and answering questions. And uh, uh, we will need to take some time. Uh, my recommendation would be to schedule a, uh, a special meeting uh, to do that. He can be here and go through all our options talk about the financing and, uh, and kind of see how we want to move forward. You know, we wouldn't be approving a final project or anything, but uh, at least at that point, giving direction on, uh, giving them direction on what we can do, so. Uh, he said he could be available sometime next week. Uh, I think we ought to, he, he said the, the week of the 20th would probably be ideal. Uh, we get into midwinter classic time, and I know a lot of us have a lot going that week. Uh, but the Monday, the 20th, uh, we do have a junior high basketball game uh, at Spearville. Um, next week's not really any less busy, I guess. We just don't have the tournament. The folks will be working, but uh, we do have ball games much every night so if we could work out Monday the 20th uh, we don't necessarily have to decide that tonight but uh, anybody yes. have any conflicts <coughs> well, would it be too late just do it one over next board meeting in February or, I mean, uh, pro well the quicker we can get it going the, the better off we'll be uh, I worry about being pressed for time <coughs> I, I, I worry about being pressed for time as it is, but it. Uh, Any thoughts? I'd be okay with it. The 20th? Mm -hmm. Monday or Wednesday?
Wednesday night I got something, but I don't know which one it is. The 20th is Monday. Yeah, but I think it's Wednesday, but I'm not sure. There's a Discovery Channel program on at 8. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say. Do you not have a DVR? You got to be the last person on the planet to have one of these. That's what my kids say. Um, I think it would be alright with me. Send out a message in the morning if you can reply back and you know if that's going to work or not. Okay. All right. Um, superintendent's contract renewal. Uh, we had a discussion about this uh, last meeting. Uh, we could uh, take a few moments in executive session and discuss that. Uh, and come out and approve. Okay. All right. Entertain uh, okay, a motion to go into the executive session and discuss the <coughs> scale. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. <coughs> I'll make that motion. Okay. Moved and seconded to go into the executive <coughs> session for five minutes to discuss personnel <coughs> with uh, the board and Mr. Meyer. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries six votes. Right now we're uh, going to renew Mr. Meyer's contract for another year, getting a contract extension with the uh, salary to be determined in July. The okay. understanding would be that paid for vacation days on the salary instead of separate. Yeah. Right. Vacation days will not be reimbursed separately. Vacation days are rolled into his salary, so he'll just be paid a flat salary no matter how much vacation he takes, although he's going to have 15 days coming if he so chooses. So. Any questions? Not to entertain the motion. Mr. President, I move the board approve the superintendent's contract extension and amendments as presented. Second the motion. So moved and seconded to approve the superintendent's contract extension and amendments as presented. Is there any discussion? Not all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried 6 0. Okay. Okay. Moving on to communications, board member activities and reports. Mr. Prater? I had no. Bill, what are we doing? Tom? Oh, okay, I have Pardon? I have a meeting coming up Thursday. PDC. So. Okay, nothing for me. Um, Mr. Meyer and I attended the state convention, seems like a month ago, mm -hmm. at least three weeks ago. Uh, learned a lot of good things, uh, met some people. Uh, one thing that uh, was very apparent was that the uh, importance of uh, technology in the classroom and how uh, it's not going away, it's going to get stronger and, and uh, we need to prepare our kids to uh, what do you think John in a, in a technology frame of mind. So I don't think we can do too much in that area. Um, one other thing that I uh, wanted to bring up while well, I got a chance here uh, just to get everyone's thoughts on uh, the National Honor Society induction ceremony. Traditionally, it's on a Sunday afternoon. Um, I thought it might be a good idea to, to try it during school rather than have it on a weekend on a Sunday. Just put that out there for everyone to think about. Uh, might be too late for this year, but um, I don't know. I'm just 
I'm not a fan of doing school events on a Sunday. Something like that. And uh, the National Honor Society, it's a, it's a privilege and um, it shows a lot to the kids. If, if we would do it in front of the student body, I think it would mean a lot. Are you talking about an evening event then? Well, or you said during, or, um, during the school day in front of the student body. Maybe move awesome. it over to the gym or something. Mm -hmm. I don't think I mean, you could do it. Or are you talking about just the high school student body? Or are you talking about? Because I mean, I think it'd be good if the younger kids could say, hey, I want to do that one. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a it's a it's a cool thing, yeah. and it is. and I don't think enough people will see it. Yeah, I agree. I I think they need to be more visible. On a, on a larger note, I guess along those same lines, and Mr. Berg and I visited about this issue just this afternoon, and the, uh, just finding more ways to recognize those academic achievements in general. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our class night. How can we expand that? Maybe even include National Honor Society as part of that, uh, where it's more, more recognized that all of our academic achievements are. Mm -hmm. you know, Scholars Bowl and you know, we high had a, scores. And, we had used to have a meal, and then everybody that was on the honor roll. I don't know if you know the history mm -hmm. on that. Everybody that was on the honor roll for the at least the three nine weeks, right? Because the fourth nine weeks is when they had it. Got invited along with their parents from junior high on up. And then they moved it to a dessert concert, or a dessert because of the cost. And then it's kind of gradually gone back into the Sunday thing. So it used to be pretty large. It used to fill the whole For gymnasium. National Honor Society or just? The National and Honor Society. And they made, a, they made it like a secret. I don't remember what they did with you guys, but they, the existing members would go out and go get the new members, so you weren't supposed to know who they were going to go get. Mm -hmm. They made a lot of fun out of it. Well, we still a lot How of How long ago was that? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> that happening. Uh, Tyler and Chamber both were inducted that way. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Bonnie, her age, because she's a little younger, and Tacey had started yeah, I do, but yeah, you're right. Andrew's age, that group did. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're not going to that. So it used to be a big, big thing. Well, why not celebrate academic achievement in front of the entire school? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Well, it keeps your standards higher. a little higher, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, administrative reports. Mr. Oliver? Um, our first through fourth graders started their skating unit today in PE. Um, they're going to be, well, the plan is that they walk back and forth to the skating ring, uh, skate for 50 minutes as opposed to their normal 30 minutes PE time. This morning, because of the cold, we did bust those kids that went. Um, but that will be going on for <coughs> the next two weeks in their PE class. Uh, this Thursday, there will be a geography bee in the auditorium. That's actually fourth through eighth grade. Um, the kids that are participating are listed there. Later on in the month, uh, we have the county spelling bee. Uh, I guess in the past, it's always been at St. John. But I guess last year, there was some discussion about rotating it among the, the three schools in Stafford County. So. This year, Maxwell's going to host it. That'll be uh, September not, or 29th at 9 o'clock. Um, it'll also be 4th through 8th grade. The participants for that haven't been decided yet. The teachers will be doing their own um, spelling bees within their classrooms. And then there'll be three representatives from 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade at um, St. John, Stafford, and uh, Maxwell. So I believe there'll be 45 participants total there. So that's coming up later in the month. Um, our enrollment numbers. I didn't change from last month other than I believe we are, we haven't gotten official word yet, but I believe we're losing a third grader 
she wasn't here today, so um, our third grade number is probably actually down one. Uh, I included in the packet a copy of our school improvement plan. I would said that we've been working on that at our last few uh, 120 dismissal days, so <clears throat> um, kind of the, I guess, draft or, or final plan kind of that we went with is included where it just kind of lists some of the different things that we do at school and then uh, we broke it down into kind of some um, individual goals and objectives and kind of our three general goals were to increase student achievement, uh, improve the school climate, and then increase our classroom technology use. And from there we kind of broke it into um, objectives from there. So uh, if you ever have any questions on that, I can answer those. Um, and then, let's see, if you go towards the very end then, last thing. Um, Coming up on January 20th, we have our in-service day. Um, during that time, there's going to be somebody here from, uh, it's called Lexia. Lexia is a computer program uh, that our teachers, I believe, kindergarten through, you still use it some in third grade, don't you, Mrs. Dixon? Um, right now, they, they use it in kindergarten through third grade. Um, it it kind of helps improve their reading skills, um, different things like that. Well, th there's a newer version out there that there's a grant available called the uh, Kansas Reading Initiative that we applied for uh, and did receive. But part of getting this grant is they have to send people out to train you on how to use dyslexia. So those people are going to be coming in and doing that with our staff on the, the 20th of January. It'll, it will actually, instead of just covering kindergarten through third grade, it goes all the way up to fifth grade. Um, that first page there it kind of shows <clears throat> some of the basic things that Lexia covers. Um, Phonological awareness, phonics, structure, structural analysis, automaticity and fluency, vocabulary and comprehension. Um, what it is, it's a computer program or it works on the iPad too where kids take like a pretest and it kind of gives you a level of, of where their reading skills and where some of those skills are at and then based on that it, it puts them at a certain level and then there's different activities they go on to where they where they try to improve maybe their sentence fluency or, or whatever skill that they happen to be weak at. So um, that'll be coming up and we'll, we'll be transitioning to a new program. And then the very next page then, that just kind of shows um, at each grade level kind of what, what the different units are and what different things are being taught. So as you can kind of see like the, the phonological awareness that kind of dies off after kindergarten and, and um, you know some of the skills are taught throughout and stuff. but. Um, that is an in-service that we have coming up, and our, our staff has a couple different trainings that they'll have to do on this. It's called Lexia Core 5, um, but it's a program that, like I said, they, they do on the, the computers and the iPads. And One reason we're going to this, for one, there's a grant out there for it, and two, right now I believe we have 20 um, seats to use it at a time, so a lot of our teachers, they use it during our MTSS time. Well, we have 100 kids or so, um, you know, roughly in MTSS at a time, only 20 of them can be used in Lexia, so if, you know, which in some classes that's not even a full classroom, so maybe only part of their class can be doing it. Well, if Mrs. Dixon's class was doing it and then Mr. Cooper's class tried to get on, it wouldn't let them because we only had 20 licenses and so on. Part of this new system, it gives us like 100 and, I can't remember the exact number, 140 maybe, so we should never have those issues where you can only use it at this certain time and stuff, so. Um, that's all that I have. That uh, reading initiative in Kansas has helped us pay for that. They, uh, the teachers had approached us early in the year about getting more licenses. And I about fell out of my chair when I saw how much they cost. <laughs> uh, and we did uh, talk to some folks and uh, learned a little bit about this grant and got that and uh, just taking care of that cost for us. Some of these programs with that MTSS, with kids working at their own level, and every kid's improving at their own level. Uh, you know how that works. You don't, you know, third grade, they're not all reading at the same level, and uh, we don't treat them that way, and that's part of this. So, it's good stuff. Thank you, Mr. Ohm. You going to do Mr. Bergen? Yep, yep. Uh, not a lot uh, from Mr. Bergen here. Um, have his enrollment numbers there. Uh, <clears throat> our online uh, college courses in uh, Barton County uh, is coming for some evening classes as well. Uh, I think we've got our got the bugs worked out of our online 
uh, enrollment situation. Uh, things will go a lot smoother this year or this semester. Geography be coming up, uh, the Midwinter Classic on that Tuesday here in a couple of weeks. Uh, and then the high school girls are in Pratt following that. And you've already approved the activity account. And then on uh, my report, our uh, state assessments, you may have heard the news uh, um, about our the future of our state assessments. Here we have our new standards. The state board uh, voted to not go with a smarter balanced assessment. We've been talking about that for some time. Uh, there was just too much fear that that was a federal test and uh, uh, we, we wanted control over that. I think there's a little political uh, there too that we're sending that we would be sending that money to somebody else to do that test when we've been sending it to KU for a lot of years. So uh, I, 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 I don't really have an opinion on it either way. I think it's just fine to, uh, the way it's, it's been working. If it's a better test, uh, picking A, B, C, and D uh, doesn't always measure real learning. So it will be a new test. Uh, just the same folks will be uh, that have done it for years will be uh, developing the new test. So this year is a transitional assessment. Uh, we've got some of the old standards and some of the new. Next year will be a little more of the new. Uh, so we're kind of in the, another a couple years of limbo here. Of We kind of have that test that really doesn't measure the same thing from one year to the next. Uh, and then uh, so in 15, 16, we'll, we'll have, we should have that final state assessment uh, that is supposed to be a lot better. Uh, the nice thing about uh, this new system, which it will need to be approved by the feds, is that the high school assessment can be flexible. We might be able to use ACT or SAT if, if kids are going out, out of state to... Uh, uh, colleges that uh, they may take the SAT. So instead of having kids take the state assessment that may or may not mean a lot to them, maybe they just take the ACT and we count that as their state assessment. So uh, we don't know if that's actually going to be how it works out, but that's what the state board approved and if that all works through the, the uh, Federal Department of Education, uh, that's the way it will work. So we'll have more information on that. We'll still be learning about that for another couple of years. Uh, district leadership team, we've met uh, for the first time last month. Uh, it was really just an informational meeting. I, I gave them the uh, CISL information, that uh, efficiency study we had, gave them all that information. Uh, talked through some budget and uh, board goals and uh, some of those things. So a lot of it was pretty much informational. Uh, the principals shared their uh, some of their goals for their school improvement plans. Uh, we'll meet again in February and we'll start to get a little more input uh, on the school improvement plans and maybe what our real mission and vision and uh, what that is for our district. And, uh, we'll take a tour of the, the facilities and get some input on some of the facility improvements we're talking about. So uh, We'll meet quarterly with those folks. So if there's things that this board wants to know from them, you know, what does the, what does the district leadership team think about these, uh, these items? We can put that out to them. So uh, if there's things we're missing there, let us know. Uh, the goals update, uh, I wanted to just briefly talk through a few of the, the board goals. Um, we're halfway through the, the year now. And I sent you two things. One was on page... Uh, Page 40 is the board goals. Uh, goal one, providing adequate resources for technology. Uh, we're continuing with the iPads. Uh, we've added some, we've updated some of our laptops in the high school. Uh, we've got our TVs and Apple TVs that you, you saw in our tour uh, a few months ago. Uh, coming up here in uh, February, uh, we're pursuing an option of, uh, of maybe looking at one-to-one, -one. it's not going to be next year or anything, but getting every kid a device. Uh, iPads are tough to share, it's really a, 
personal device. It's like you know sharing your smartphone with somebody. It doesn't really work that way. It's my stuff on there. The iPad's really the same way, uh, and that's how it's set up. You know, new laptops eight hundred dollars. It's tough to get one of those in every kid's hands. Uh, Chromebooks is is something. Uh, it's just internet. It's like a laptop with just internet, and there's some apps on there. Uh, but you're looking at two hundred fifty or three hundred dollars compared to eight hundred dollars, and uh, you know it doesn't have Microsoft Word or any of those things. But through Google, which we have our email through, uh, they have programs online that you can type papers and make presentations, and it's all online. It's saved in the cloud, um, but it's a different way of of, of doing work with the computer. Uh, we've got a group from Fort Hayes State coming to uh, visit with our teachers about about that and how we might go about that. So that's kind of the first step to see how does this all work and how might we be able to use that. Uh, goal two, uh, the career planning is, is continuing, advanced course uh, opportunities. Uh, we're not as far along there as I, I had hoped. We hadn't done a lot of expansion on what we did last year. Uh, objective two, our local curriculum. That's an ongoing thing we're working on this year with math. Um, and then the textbook adoption schedule. Uh, we hope to be uh, uh, have something in place uh, by the end of this year, but haven't done work on that yet this year. Our facilities, our capital improvements budget and plan. We've talked through some of that. Kind of have a very loose plan and budget. Uh, but we'll know more here as we make some decisions over the next uh, couple of months. Uh, our emergency operating procedures, uh, that's in process. Uh, Kim Volker is working on that, uh, updating that. Uh, part of that would be getting the word out to parents. You know, we don't want to give our whole emergency plan of what we do in every situation to the public, but folks need to know some basics. And, you know, parents want to know those things. So. Uh, our recruitment and retaining uh, staff, uh, we're going to talk about some of these things in uh, negotiations uh, in executive session, but some of the things we're looking at, we really need a formal mentoring program uh, for classified staff and teaching staff. Uh, we don't have anything in place. Uh, one thing that we may look at putting in place is a new staff orientation day. New staff is going to show up a day before everybody else. That would have to be part of the negotiated calendar uh, with the teachers. Uh, also, an item that uh, would need to be negotiated would be the possibility of paying a signing bonus or paying some moving expenses to get families to move here uh, when we hire them. Uh, so some of those things would help recruitment and not, not cost a lot of dollars year to year. Uh, and then our board policies and procedures, uh, KSB is working on that, uh, our updated board policies. Uh, we continue to update things little by little on our classified handbook. Uh, Julianne's been working, gathering information on that, and our human resources procedures, hiring and all that. Uh, so that's kind of where we are on the goals that we set. Uh, this summer. Do you have any questions on those? On the technology, um, some kids might have iPads at home. Mm -hmm. Is it encouraged to bring it to school? Or it is not right it? now. Um, a lot of districts are, have worked into their policies a uh, bring your own device, BYOD. Uh, so if a kid if you could do, use their smartphone, uh, if they haven't, uh, iPad at home, they can bring that. Uh, the the trick is, how do we manage though? How do we manage those things and uh, make sure they're being used the way they're supposed to be used? But, so, it is a possibility. Some things we probably need to get in place before we do that in a structured way. Probably be involving the parent. Yeah, and, and a big hurdle too is. Um, is if we, you know, if we if we have all the kids using a device in class, but only half the kids have them, 
what do we do for the other half? So we either need to have them for those that don't have them. Uh, you know, okay. We don't want it to become a have and have not situation. Uh, I think there needs to be something in there we're not responsible for accidents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if we let kids bring this mm -hmm. or not. Uh, the other information I included here was uh, the, this information is from the CISL report, starting on page 41. These are all of the recommendations that they have. Uh, when uh, Bill Saylor's presented, he just gave us a few, you know, uh, selected uh, items that they recommended. Um, so I wanted to include this just so it's fresh in our minds. And, uh, you know, I've got a marked up copy here that I look at frequently to make sure, um, you know, we're not missing some things. There's a lot of things in here, we just can't do it all at once. It's just not, not possible to uh, take care of everything. A few things that we have done uh, on the page 41, number 4, uh, on our work orders, uh, we do have a new work order procedure. That, uh, you know, it comes to my desk and from me to uh, David, and I keep track of those in a folder. And if we're behind on things, then uh, I can follow up. Uh, and then we have a record. If, if we keep continue to fix one door over and over again, you know, we'll have a record of that. We might want to just replace the door. Uh, you know, and a lot of those, something like that, we know about. It's we don't need the paperwork, but uh, one of their recommendations that we've uh, been working on. Number five on that same page uh, is getting roofing folks in here to uh, take care of some situations and we've done that. Uh, number seven, we also did that, polishing the floor. The next page, number eight, we're working on the uh, work schedule for custodians. Uh, some of that is uh, you know, trying to make sure everything is covered when it needs to be, and uh, we're still kind of tweaking that. Uh, the next page on organization and management, number one, that has to do with the library. It doesn't say that in there, but there uh, are library sharing arrangement. <coughs> kind of equalizing the funding there, that is, has been done. Page 44, their evaluation, supervision. Uh, job descriptions, this is one area that we do that, we just need to do, we need to update them. Uh, all part of the uh, policies and procedures and things we really need to have in place. Uh, it just take time to develop. On the Board of Education, page 46, number one, update the master set of policies. We're doing that. The next page talks about uh, parent patron organization site councils. Uh, we're, we've got that in process now. And then on the, uh, some of the things that we haven't really done that I wanted to point out to you on page 42, number 10. This is one of those things that uh, I'm not sure what to make of it. Uh, the need for more custodians, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I think scheduling and another item that we maybe we may consider is uh, hiring out for lawn care. That would help alleviate some of that uh, seasonal uh, stress on our, our cleaning and maintenance if we don't have to worry about maintaining the lawns. So, um, number three down below on energy management, replacing lighting. Uh, we're looking at the old gym lights, but we've still got a lot of other lights that uh, need some replacing. 
one thing I know would not be popular is on the next page, page 43. The recommendation is to consider closing the lunch hour. Uh, I don't, uh, I, I, I feel, I would feel weird about uh, making this a budget decision. I don't want to make the kids stay so they pay us to help with the budget. Uh, but it, it is worth considering, I think, for safety and school uh, environment situation. Uh, but uh, it's an uphill climb. Uh, and I don't know that that's the right decision. But that is one of their recommendations. The next page under organization and management at the bottom. This is something we really need to work on, our human resources. <clears throat> One of those items that we really don't know. Uh, what are all, our, all of our procedures with, uh, with everything we do from hiring to training to workman's comp and all of those things. So just a few items. I didn't want to go through the whole thing. Uh, one more. On technology on page 48, uh, recommended the district develop a usable and active technology plan. Something we need to do. You know, we have a technology <coughs> plan in place. It's just not really active and utilized. And, uh, kind of goes along with our capital improvements. So I want to make sure you all had that. I covered a few of those things. Any questions or comments on any of those things? Uh, budget update. Uh, you saw the budget report there. Um, you know, I, I look at it constantly. You know, one thing I look at is what is our budget. The other thing I look at is what are our expenses, you know, compared to last year. Uh, we're actually, at this time, a little less on expenditures than we were last year. Some of that was just the timing with, you know, even these bills you approved here. So we're, we're right, on the, right on schedule with our expenses compared to last year, uh, which is good because some of our expenses are more this year. Our insurance went up and some of those things. Um, our cash situation, uh, we have less cash to deal with. Uh, this is our, our lowest month right here from uh, you know, November, December till, till we get to the, uh, till January 20th when our local effort tax check comes in. And past years we've been able to float by on that extra year of payment that we've had sitting in our bond and interest fund. Uh, so we might not get all the cash in from the state, from our state aid, but we've had that sitting there. And now we're in a situation, since we paid our bond off, we need to watch that very close now. Uh, we've also spent uh, uh, a good chunk of our capital outlay budget early in the year. Uh, we're still on budget. We, we just spent it earlier in the year as opposed to the last half of the year. So uh, we need to... Uh, increase our cash balance uh, at the end of the year. We need to get to that point where we do that. Um, also, uh, we've had money sitting in American State Bank uh, just because it's been sitting there. We've had some deposited in there. Uh, but we can't operate that way now. We don't have that money sitting there. We need to have it in, in uh, one location. So we've moved most of that over to St. John National and uh, and we'll likely close that account over there. So that would be a topic of discussion uh, when, we, when we identify our bank of record. Uh, is that something we want to just keep with St. John National, if that's something we want to rotate? Uh, the auditors did not like that when we did that uh, in past years. Does that sound familiar? Uh, you know, rotating and you know, changing checks and, uh, becomes a difficult thing. So. That might be a, a topic of discussion uh, down the road. Uh, so with our cash situation, uh, we do need to uh, 
uh, get a handle on that and uh, how, we, how we increase that. Um, so we will have some discussion about some of those uh, personnel things that might affect our budget here in executive session after a bit. I had on here legislative items. We'll uh, hold off on that till uh, next time when I know a little more. Um, thank you for serving uh, on the school board. You don't get paid enough to do this. Uh, this is School Board Appreciation Month. Uh, the kids will be working on something that will get you this, this week or this month. Uh, Julianne was going to work up something today, snacks and stuff, but she is sick today. And, uh, um, so I apologize we didn't have uh, something a little nicer for you than, uh, than uh, the iPads. But, but anyway, thank you for what you do. Meeting dates for next year. Um, getting together the financial reports for the first Monday is difficult. Uh, when we try to, when we finish uh, at month end, and we try to get it all together, get these things for you, um, the first Monday's tough. Uh, I would like the, the board to consider maybe moving our meetings to the second Monday of the month next year. I don't know if there's a reason we would do on the first Monday compared to the second. Uh, you know, school calendar, we just have to shuffle around. So I'm not asking for a decision tonight. Just give that some thought. Um, if there's not a reason to keep it on the first, we might look at moving it to the second Monday. One more item that's not on here is our HVA system at the library. We're still working on it. I've got some numbers from uh, one outfit, but we need uh, we need more. So we need to get on those folks and get get numbers in. So and that's all I have for my report. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Meyer. Mm -hmm. Executive session items. Uh, we'll have some for personnel. Uh, 15 minutes? Yeah. Uh, just me. Okay. Mr. President. I move the board going into executive session to discuss employee employer negotiations. Oh. Is that the one we're supposed to do? Nope. No, not personnel. <laughs> personnel matters. For 15 minutes with Mr. Meyer to be included. And then we return in 15 minutes. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> move and second to go to executive session to discuss uh, personnel with Mr. Meyer and the board for 15 minutes. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried 6 0. Uh, that's not going to need to discuss negotiations. Yeah. Executive session. Does anybody have anything uh, to discuss, or will it just be me discussing in, exec in the, on negotiations? I'm asking so we know how much time. No, no, Five minutes into it. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes will do it. Yeah. With the board and the superintendent. Yeah. Did entertain a motion? Oh, Mr. President, I move. <laughs> The board go on executive session to discuss employee employer negotiations in order to protect the public interest in negotiating a fair and equitable contract with Mr. Meyer to be included. And we return to open session in five minutes. No, then that could include Mr. Oh, Ollie. Mr. Ollie. And Mr. Ollie. Okay. There a second? I'll second that. Yeah. Moving second to go on executive session to discuss negotiations with the board of Mr. Meyer and Mr. Ollie for five minutes. All in favor, aye. Aye. Those nay. Motion carried 7 0. Closing business items. Uh, I have uh, no contracts or resignations in uh, 
you see the items listed there will approve contracts for next uh, uh, next year for the principals. Uh, when you start looking at the calendar for next year, uh, principals will report on the courses and curriculum and the things that you know minutes of day kids get in certain areas and those things. And uh, I'm not sure that we'll have a parents' as teachers report, but that's on the calendar. So. Any other items come for the board? I'm taking a motion for adjournment. Mr. President, I move to adjourn. Second. We second. We adjourn. All in favor, aye. 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 A